Hello and welcome to 212 Triple Crown, Union, Ohio. Now this is Vandalia Schools. You'll get mail if you call it Vandalia, you'll get mail if you call it Union, but it's uh, right in that spot. I think it's considered City of Union, but Vandalia Schools here. So three car garage, this is a newer construction home. We have stone and kind of a hardy board siding on the outside here. Gorgeous home, tons of space in here. Tons of entertaining areas. Covered front porch here that leads into the front. And we're gonna go inside and check it out. And this home is phenomenal. So let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here we just walked through the front door and we have some nice wood floors that flow through the hallway here over into the kitchen. To our left, we have a coat closet. Straight ahead, very cool staircase. I'll give you some perspective of this when we get to the top floor as well, but we have a landing there. And then going up, this is all stained wood with a wrought iron or wrought iron look railing in there. Very nice. To our right, we have a living room. Uh, there's several different possibilities for a lot of these rooms in here, but living room, dining room, family room. This could be an office. Currently set up as a little school room for the kids. Check out the shiplap on this. Very, very cool. And there's some in the family room as well, but this would be the backyard. And we have the same wood floors in here as well. And from the dining room, that's why I call that the dining room. Well, there's a table in there too. So in the, it's not this dark in person that's kind of playing, uh, the light is playing havoc with my camera right there. So that's how that looks in person right there. Let me come in here and get some better, get my camera better focused for you. But here's the family room that we were talking about. There we go. Well, it's still kind of dark, but there we go. That looks better. Oversized cabinets. So we got 42 inch cabinets in here. All of the appliances are gonna stay. Toaster oven doesn't, but we got the dishwasher over here that stays. The microwave, the fridge, and the double oven over here stay. This is a pantry over here and a good sized island here, two spot for two bar stools. And then the kitchen sink here kind of overlooks the backyard. We'll take a look at that here in a minute, but then we have the kind of the breakfast room area in here with vaulted ceilings. And again, it's not this dark, just the camera is picking up some light, but obviously even for a breakfast room here, you can get a good sized table in here. Three bar stools underneath that, pretty easy. So just you know, eating cereal in the morning, there's a spot for five people without even using this table or the dining room. Backyard, we'll check that out here in a minute and it is awesome back there. So stay tuned to see that. So here's our family room and I may have the dimensions, I might call this a living room, but you get the gist. This is a fireplace here with a stone surround. And then we have shiplap on either side of it too that definitely gives it kind of, I mean, I love the stone and shiplap combination here. Just gives it a really, really nice feel. Very open, open floor plan concept here. And this door takes us down to the basement. That's the front door where we came from. This takes us to the garage. Three car garage, very nice on this one. So our little kind of mudroom, if you will, that's basically a piece of custom made furniture. So it's not built in, but it is stained. So perfect spot to put all the shoes and everything in there. And then big bonus here as well is the washer and dryer are going to stay as well. And this is a GE and this is a Whirlpool. And there's a mud sink here as well. Co hangers, this is very, very nice use of this space right here. And that's all granite countertops in the kitchen. All of the backsplash on there, and then it's tile over there. And then rounding out the first floor, we have the half bathroom. So when we go upstairs, which I'm actually going to show you the backyard before we go upstairs. But up here, we have two full bathrooms up here and a half bathroom down there. And then spoiler alert, we have a rough end for another full bathroom down in the basement. But before I show you the second floor, 
I can't wait anymore. I have to show you this backyard here. It is phenomenal. I'll meet you out back. All right, so here we just came out the back door off of the breakfast room and we have our gorgeous landscape. If you ever price this stuff out, this is super expensive to, done, to do what has been done here. Little section over here, perfect spot for a table, just like they have it. And all of this furniture can stay with the house as well out here. A little drops down a little step and then check out, you have a, an outdoor fireplace, which is really, really cool. The kids could come out, go the adults. Yeah, I'm down for that too. <laughs> Cooking some hot dogs, some marshmallows on here. And another big area over here. And one other really nice feature here, well, not this, but there's some limestone steps coming down here. There are no rear neighbors. That's all fields, that's all property. I believe that is all property of the HOA back there. But just a great place to entertain inside and outside. So you got a rec room upstairs, which we'll see here in a minute. I, I mean, there's so many possibilities with the house. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go upstairs and take a look. All right, so here it just came to the top of the stairs. And this is a very cool setup here. It's kind of a split staircase coming up here with wood and a wrought iron look with the decorative spindles here. Very nice, and that's a two-story entry as we come in. There's a little office area or like a little study area over here, but we have five bedrooms up here. Uh, since we're right here, we'll check out this one. This one's in the back middle, so that window overlooks the backyard. It's a good sized room here. We do have an overhead light, so could throw a ceiling fan up there if you so desired. This is the owner's suite here. These are double French doors that lead into the bedroom here. Have the recessed ceiling in here with the ceiling fan. And then we have two good sized closets in here. This is closet number one and this is his closet. And I usually don't come in here, but it goes a pretty good distance back here. So good sized closet space in here. And then coming through the bathroom has double French doors leading to the bathroom in here. We have a soaking tub with a walk-in shower, double bowl vanity here, and this is on the back left of the house. So that's side yard over there, and then that's the backyard. Walk-in shower here. Our toilet is over here, and then we have a linen closet right there. And we open this up. We have the other closet over here. And this one, it's hard to tell. They're both good-sized closets, but I think this one I might actually be a little bit bigger, hard to tell, but pretty equal. You can, if you buy this house, you can fight over who gets what closet. But this was the second bedroom that we've looked at. And there's our staircase where we came up and then that was like the peach be bathroom, or excuse me, bedroom there. Bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. And then this was that little office area I was talking about where you could have a little study, you know, kids can do homework or a little craft room. And then this is the bonus room. Check out the size of this room. It is enormous. Uh, there is a closet right here, so this could be a bedroom for sure. Very high ceilings in here. We have recessed lights with a ceiling fan, but look at this. That's maybe a, probably a queen size bed. Look at how much room is in here. Ping pong table here. That is a negotiable thing, the ping pong table. That could stay. And then this is the front of the house here. This is a great space. So I didn't know what to classify this as a rec room, a second floor family room, a bedroom. So I think I'm gonna call it a bedroom, but you can use it for whatever you darn well please. So coming here, we've seen three bedrooms. There's gonna be two more bedrooms to see. So we've had two full bathrooms up here. We're gonna check out the second full bathroom right now. So this is your guest bathroom. That's a shower tub in there and then a double vanity here as well. Bedroom, uh, I'm losing track here. Bedroom number four. This is on the back right of the home. Closet over there. Again, we have overhead light. And then another linen closet here. And then bedroom number five. This will be on the front right of the home. If you're looking at it uh, from the street, closet's over there. And again, overhead light. So that's the second floor. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here it just came down the basement stairs and the basement is set up in a circular floor plan. 
So we can come this way, and as you see, this is all storage down here. And one really nice thing is, if this was going to be completely finished off, this is plumbed for a full bathroom right here. There's the, all of that. Now coming around the corner, this is where our, kind of our mechanical area. We have a high efficiency AirQuest furnace here, our water heater. And that is a high efficiency water heater as well, our softener. Sump pump is over here in the corner. And this basement has never been wet, according to the owners, not a drop of water down here. So a dry basement and good storage in here. And if you finish this off, you can have underneath the stairs storage here as well. And here's where it kind of circles around. What I was talking about here, we have the, you know, what they're using here is the workout area. It's a good space. There's multiple different possibilities that you can do down here. They did finish off this room in the basement here, office area. Uh, the wall-mounted TV, the TVs do not stay, but the wall mounts are going to stay. But very nice office down here, a little quiet space. And then we have this kind of bonus area over here. Check out this workshop. Very, very nice. And the owner said that these items are negotiable. So we've got an air compressor, a table saw, a band saw, a lathe, a chop saw, belt. You know, has two different sanders on there. I don't know, that looks like some type of pressure cooker there. A little router, lathe, grinder, drill press, and an air filtration system, and a gigantic shop vac in here as well. So if you're into woodworking, you could get set up something really nice here. Here's another, uh, looks like router here. So great basement, great possibilities. Could finish this off. Could put a theater room in one of these rooms. You know, we got the, the rec room upstairs that we already saw, but you could have a pool table down here, ping pong table. You know, if your kids are different ages, if you have kids, the older ones could be upstairs, younger ones could be downstairs, or vice versa. So tons of possibilities down here. For the most part, it's a blank slate for you. Next, let me meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this lovely home. A home like this at this price with a three car garage, all of the entertaining spaces. I mean, there's not much that needs to be done to this home other than for you to move in and enjoy it. Super cool house, unique, not cookie cutter, it's got a lot of character, even with it being a newer construction house. This is perfect place to call home. So give me a call. I look forward to talking to you.